Hey guys, Angry Joe and Alex here. Other Joe is out of town. He'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, Santa has a sh real short leaf on the elves during uh, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of gifts, THQ Nordic, I want to thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video because they sent us this. <laughs> Dark Siders Nephilim Nef. Nef Nephilim. Nephilim. Nephilim edition. This is the three hundred and eighty dollar uh, exclusive edition, which includes uh, the statue of Strive to complete our collection, and then a Dark Siders board game with a campaign book, with. Guess guess what? Pre-painted freaking miniatures. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna play this on Twitch when Joe gets back, wow. and we're gonna uh, you know give you our impressions of it. There's like 32 pre-painted miniatures in here. So you're wondering why is it so expensive? It's because of that right this, there. Yeah, there's a lot. That's as much as many pre-painted miniatures as our Kickstarter has, and our Kickstarter is like 280 dollars. Uh, but with this one, you get the statue, you get the the game, the steel book, you get uh, the art book, you get the soundtrack and stuff like that. At the end of the video, we'll lay everything out and show you. Thank you so much to THQ for sending this to me. I love board games. Can't wait to play that one. But let's jump into the actual game right now, which. Thankfully, it's pretty good. You got split sp split screen co-op, which is not uh, common in these days. So we're going to play a little bit of that, and then I'm going to send them over there so that we could play just in full screen and not have you guys have to you know, look at split screen if you don't have to. Uh, but yeah, so let's check out the game together, shall we? Let's do it. That one gets me. Oh shit, did I fucking die? I fucking died, come revive me. You have a limited time to revive me. Revive me! I'm dead. Alex! How dare you? You're the one who died. You gotta revive me, you have plenty of time. No! Ah, it's alright. No! Do him. Get back? I have a sword. What do you mean, get back? Okay, I know what to do now. I'm gonna jump over those so those don't get me, and I'm gonna mess him up quick. Don't you worry. Boom. 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 Oh, he got me with that. That's fine, but I got him down to half health. Got my mega guns here. Yeah, Strife is, is doing his business. Excellent here. Oh. Got him now. What is this? Ooh. Drug for me. Very cool. Split screen boss battle brings me back. To the ages of old, 10 years ago, yeah. 20 years ago. Uh, the slag pit, number two. So here we could see the levels that we've done. So we did dethrone, having heard rumors of a plot of Lucifer to overthrow the balance. The charred console sends the horsemen war and stripe to Blackstone to interrogate. We got a boatman coins. There's 10 of those that we need to get. There's trickster. There's one trickster key and there's one trickster door. Mm. Uh, let, well, we could go and do that, and then there's the slag pit. The, a powerful demon has stolen an important artifact for Volgrim. The horseman must travel to his dungeon to recover. All right, let's do it, Alex. So now we've gone into uh, individual screen co-op, which is a lot easier for you guys to enjoy. Uh, but it's so cool that you have that ability. Bombs can be picked up and thrown to destroy bomb growths. Okay, here we go. There you go. Ooh, that guy's. Alright, I feel a lot of Alright, 
All right, now we can go to the left. Chamber of Iron. the key for you here so jump across here and then grab that key over here and then let's go back to that door and see if no. there's a key over here okay yeah. cool did you get it i got it oh it, it's for both of us i guess okay. what's that i don't know i wasn't able to pop it Yep, looks like you needed it. Alright, first trickster door open cooperatively. What does what happens? Is it another little secret area? A whole separate level? Loot! Beam shot. Fire a steady stream of beam energy, dealing damage at a rapid rate and building hot streak quickly. Hot streak. A larger empowered beam pierces enemies dealing increased damage. And then there's a passive attack power is permanently increased for each ammo type required. Beam shot for strife. It's strife ammo. So hold left button, use to select it. Right trigger when assigned to slot one. Right button. And then hot streak is. Like it. And yes, quite. Uh, so if you're rushing through the game, you'll miss some of these things. Uh, at least in this instance. Um, I, did I just get stuck? Yeah, I just got stuck. <laughs> so there are some glitches. But, oh, okay. And it kills you. Gets you out of it. Thank God. I'll have to restart it. Yeah, fix that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Right, let's go. Go up to the right here. Am I able to use my mount? No. What the hell is that? If Lucifer is as dangerous as the Council says he is, why'd they send just the two of us? Death and fury attend to other matters. Of course, in every game they say to question the will of the Council. <laughs> it's not my place to question your wardrobe, but I still think your armor could use some more creepy faces on it. <laughs> Must everything be a joke to you, the Council? The odd couple, me and Alex. You really need to like <laughs> I, the council this and the council that. Then you, you want to hear a hear joke? An actual joke? No. No. Knock knock. Knock knock. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed You're to say supposed who's to say, there? Why would I give away my location? I would simply <laughs> smash through the door and face my assailant. That's sweet. <laughs> uh, You're hopeless. Forget it. Forget it. Ruin my joke. Look, under the Here we go. Think that's Volcrum's artifact? These glyphs indicate some kind of locking mechanism. It seems our mission is more difficult than we thought. Alright, something just flew away. Son of a bitch. When is it ever easy? Okay. It's a locking mechanism. Let's go and unlock this half first. Matt. 
To the side. All right, so we're gonna need a bomb to blow that up. Oh, oops. Can I get across here? You did? Yes, I was able to get across here. You can get across. Here. Uh, I found... Where are you? I need your help. Kill him back, guys. Opposite side from the map. No. What are you doing that for? Get back over here. That guy's need a killer. I need some help. Fire can be transferred what? Using Fire can be transferred between objects using the Vorpal Blade. Alright, well, transfer fire. That seems to be what we need to do. Okay. Beam shots really cool. Yeah. All right, I can't see where to now. All right, so you gotta go up here <laughs> and climb up. Nope. <laughs> Wrong way. Okay. So straight up. Yeah, straight up. So there's a hook over here in case you get there. You're probably not gonna be able to see this, but there's a hook. Yeah. Yo, I can barely see it, yeah. Okay, but I don't know if that's where we go yet. Okay, we gotta get to this guy. <laughs> Holy shit! He said, fuck you, knock me the hell out of the left. Unlocked all sections. Loving it. Loving it so far. Alright. So now I have to try to jump and find this thing. Hold on. Let's see what's over here. The loot box, I think. Phrasing. Bunch of souls. Yeah, it splits it evenly. This way. Why didn't they puff us up? There it goes. Activate. Lock. Oh shit! Boss time! Best part of Dark Side is here we go. We found a target. Uh, Let's do it! Oh shit! Gotta get out of here. Oh. 
Leave me alone! <laughs> I will throw your bones into our You really piss him off. Slack me. Ability frames to execute the little ones when he starts to do his attack. thought you were warming up to the place. I got one of the you big the orange ones. Escapes me. Slack Demon. Humor Dashing has a 25% chance to leave behind a lava trail. That's freaking sweet. So now what we do is we go into our creature cores and we can put in that Slack Beam in the creature core. And in order to put another big boy major creature set, we gotta unlock this one and then put in that old one which was the hollow fiend. I like the core set. I didn't think I'd like the cores, but now I like the cores. Because it's like, look at all these trophies that you have from the bosses and the enemies, and you're slotting them to make your guy have different abilities. Man, he should be leading us by the hand right to Lucifer's doorstep. Let us return to Vulgrim, then. For his sake, I hope we find his generosity greatly improved. All right, chapter two complete. All right, guys, that's going to be it for us. I really enjoyed what I played so far. What do you think, Alex? Yeah, I'm a sucker for these types of games. I love co-op, dungeon crawl, RPG style games. Yeah, over the top, a little bit of uh, a cool cutscene so far. So let's show you what comes in the actual box set because I wanted to show, kind of lay it out for you guys. So check it out. All right, guys, we promised that we lay everything out so that you could see the Nelfalim edition in all of its glory. The board game has been taken out. So you get, you know, you get the game with the game code. You get the steel box, got the stickers, the rule books, two campaign books. Of course, the, uh, the Strife statue so that you can, you know, put them up against your other statues from the Apocalypse edition. Because it's like, I don't know, THQ has this tendency to make ridiculously overpriced special editions. Darksiders 3 had one where it was like four statues with the uh, Apocalypse Edition back in the day that was like $400. This one's cheaper. This one's $380. And no, I don't recommend you go out and get this. It's way too expensive. I hope in the future that there is, you know, that they sell this board game separately because this is impressive. But I will tell you, as somebody who has made a game with pre-painted miniatures, it does cost a lot. Our game is 280 with all 32 miniatures. This one has even more miniatures and they're all pre-painted. So, 
Um, you know, if you're really into board games, if you're really into, you know, the Darksiders universe, then this might be something that you're interested in. You already know there's only 5,000 of them. Otherwise, THQ, please, please make this available separately so that people can play this game. And uh, like I said, we're going to play this for you. We're going to see if it's a worthwhile board game. Maybe they shouldn't do it if it's bad. I don't know. But I can already tell you from Toy Factor and from all this that I'm really excited about. Of course, I geek out about board games. So we'll play this on our Twitch stream. So definitely follow us on uh, twitch.tv backslash Angry Joe Show. And we'll get a game of this in maybe on Wednesday, Alex, do you think? We can find somebody for Wednesday, yeah? Okay, well, we'll see. Joe will be here back by then, and, uh, yeah, but you finally get to play as the four horsemen. You've got war, death, strife, and fury, and then this big-ass boss, so it should be pretty fun. All right, did you zoom in on these guys? Check these guys out real close. The horsemen. It's sweet. So, obviously, a four-player board game, and then the game itself, Darksiders Genesis, the first time it's co-op, as, as you just saw, me and Alex played it, and we had some fun with it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and yeah, one of the uh, coolest, but very expensive collector's editions. Thank you, THQ, for sending this over to us, and for supporting the Angry Joe Show, and thank you guys for supporting the Angry Joe Show, and I'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye.